Alright guys, what is going on? And you can probably already tell by the title, but today's video is a video of what is on my iPod Touch, a new version of it. So, I mean, some stuff's changed, but not a lot, so let's get into it. So starting off, we have the Messages app for, you know, messaging and iMessage and such, which is really nice for, like, some of my friends that have uh, iPhones and stuff. I can talk to them without even, like, having a phone. So that's pretty nice. Um, got the Bible app because I'm Christian and uh, something I like to do. Um, calendar, which syncs my Google Calendar, which is nice. So I can have my calendar on my tablet and my iPod at the same time. So it's a, it's a pretty nice built-in calendar, but I mean, it's nothing special. Um, I just use it because it's the app that came with it. <laughs> like every single app, literally like every single app on the App Store requires iOS 7 or iOS 8. It's ridiculous. But, uh, yeah, the uh, iPod Touch 6th generation just was released yesterday. Maybe not the time this is uploaded, but the time I'm filming this looks pretty sick. So, I might have a video on that. Maybe, probably not, though. I don't know. And then, um, let's see. We have the calculator for doing calculations, obviously. Have the social. This is just pretty much social network. So, Twitter, you can follow me at GM Leroy. Um, it's pretty much just liked videos because I have it linked. Um... And sometimes I guess I'll post some things, but nobody really follows me for my YouTube channel. So, uh, I, I don't really post anything. <laughs> but if, if you guys follow me, I guess I would. Um, Google Plus for syncing my photos with Google Photos, which is really nice to have it on both platforms. Uh, Facebook, just because Facebook. Instagram, I like Instagram. I like it. Because I'm really into like, pictures and videos and stuff, obviously because I'm making YouTube videos. <laughs> But, yeah, Instagram is pretty cool. It's one of my favorite social networks. And then Snapchat. Um, I'm on Snapchat a lot, too. Instagram and Snapchat are probably the most. And, uh, again, Instagram is GM Leroy. Facebook is just a weird account. And then Google, Google Plus is obviously Grant Leroy. And then Snapchat is at, uh, or, I'm, yeah, I'm GM Leroy on there, too. Um, and so, yeah, you can follow me on all those. And I pretty much just use Snapchat to talk to my friends, though. Because, again, I don't really have an audience. So, that's the social networks. Now we have a folder here called Camera, with a K, because, you know, why not? And, obviously, first of all, we have the camera, you know, to take pictures and look at, yes, whoa, it's me, rocking that Batman swag. Anyway, and then you got your back-facing camera, which obviously is against the table. And then your pictures and videos and stuff like that, so... You can go home here, and again, uh, updated thing. If you didn't watch my top five iPod 4G tips and tricks, I was filmed with my tablet, so just like, watch the quality a little bit. But um, it was top five things you can do, and one of them is these little this little thing. If your home button's broke, which mine is broke, see it doesn't really work. I mean, sometimes it does, and it's really weird. But yeah, so I just use that. It's kind of annoying though, um, but. Yeah, anyway, that's a little side note. Watch that video. It's, there's some pretty good stuff. And it works with other iOS, uh, too. Just, I just wanted to use this one because it's the iPod I have. Um, video Editor Free is a free video editor. Um, sometimes it crashes when you have a lot of videos, though, so watch out for that. And Photos app, just because it has to do with pictures. YouTube Capture is good for making videos on your phone or whatever, iPod, whatever. Because you can edit it and add music soundtracks, YouTube soundtracks, all in one place. So that's pretty cool. And voice recorders, because I was thinking about using my earpods as like a mic thing. Because it's a pretty good mic instead of a built-in one like this on the camera. But it didn't really work out well. Plus the mic doesn't work now. So yeah, kind of lost that. So that's that folder. Next up is Guitar Tuna. I'll move this in. I know it's a weird name, but again, I told you I play guitar, so if you watch the top five facts about me, I'll link that in the description as well. Um, I, I like to play guitar. I mean, it's pretty enjoyable, so here, I'll just hit it there so we can see what this is all about. And so it's just going to load up. Again, this is kind of laggy because I was six... Probs. That's a hashtag now. Use it. Just kidding. 
Um, and so there's tools. I don't really use the game. I just use the tuner, like all the different uh, uh, chords of the guitar. You can just hit it and it'll tune it, like see what's going. So you can go like E and B. That already have an auto, but I like just doing the manual because it's easier. But yeah, that's it's good for if you're a guitar player, definitely get this app. Must have. We have a speed test right here for speed testing the interwebs. Which I will test mine right now. We usually have around like a 10 to 20 download and then like a, what is it, like a 10 up, something like that, 510. So let's begin the test and I'll come back. Okay, the test has finished and it says that we have a 27 ping, uh, 20 upload, and, or 20 down and 11 up. So, not bad. Pretty nice Wi-Fi signal. And you can also use it with a uh, mobile data taster, data taster, data taster, taste. <laughs> wow. That's your speed um, uh, that way, but I only have Wi-Fi in this, so I just use Wi-Fi. So if you want to test your Wi-Fi or mobile data or whatever, definitely get speed tests. Good app. You have settings for changing setting things. Um, Clash of Clans is this awesome game where... You, well, I think most of you know what Clash of Clans is, but if you don't know, it's a game that you really, you're like a village, and you have like a bunch of weapons and collectors of resources, and you just battle other players that play that game, and it's pretty fun. So I have multiple accounts and stuff, but yeah, and then I just have a shortcut, not an app, because it requires, you know, iOS 7 or later, or whatever, of Amazon.com, because... You can surf the Amazon webs and find awesome tech things, because Amazon is awesome for that. By the way, also, yesterday was Prime Day at the timing of this recording, and that didn't really live up to the hype. So, yeah. We'll watch out for that in the future, the Prime Day things. And then the YouTube app, which kind of crashes a lot. I mean, they're really trying to get rid of it for iOS 6, I've heard, but... I mean, it still works, and it works for managing comments and things, so I go with the YouTube app. In the next row, we have clock for, you know, timers and things. Um, reminders for reminders of what to do. Contacts for my very few contacts, because I have no friends. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, well, this was weird. Let's see the app store for getting apps, which you can't really get for... <laughs> I was six for the third time, I think. Yeah. Um, oh, I should actually go to the main thing here first. So, here, let me get it up here. Yeah, there we go. And then Hangouts for, gosh, I use Hangouts a lot. Because, like, um, I don't really, well, actually, I do have a phone now. But when I didn't have a phone, I just use, oh, there we go. Um, when I just use Hangouts because, like, all my friends had smartphones and, you know, I could communicate with them. And I guess we've just kind of kept using it. I mean, like, it's just a thing we do. I don't know. Plus, you can, like, spam messages and do random things without getting, like, charged. So, it works out, I guess. Plus, for, like, video calling. It's all built in. And we have mail for email. Um, I would have gotten, like, Gmail or something, but... I can't get it, so again, just built-in apps here. Safari for browsing the net because I can't get Chrome or anything. And music for music, but I don't use iTunes. I use Spotify. So, yeah, that doesn't really work out for that. So there's the main bar. Moving on to the top bar of the next page, which I only have two pages, so this is going to be end of it here but okay so we have samsung mobile print because that means because we have a samsung printer and it has wi-fi and like nfc built into it so that means i can print stuff right from my ipod with this app which is really nice like pictures documents anything like that so that's pretty pretty nice right there facetime i've never used i don't think yeah i've never facetimed anyone on this which is crazy I just use Google Hangouts pretty much, and that just kind of works, I guess. Um, plus, I just kind of rather text someone. I don't know. It's my preference. Um, notes for notes, obviously, or like links to websites. It's just really handy for that. Sometimes I even use them for like uh, bullet points for videos or something. 
So, I actually kind of like that app. It's pretty nice. Um, Easy to find is a the, uh, website. I have just a shortcut here for school. Um, it's really nice because usually we have like a bunch of definitions we gotta define or something for like ELA maybe. And so you just literally plug in all the words, and it gives definitions for all of them in one page. So it's it's pretty good. And then Black Shot Revolution is a fun game. So I will show you how to play it because I can't really explain it. Listen to that music, though. Okay. So what you basically do is you hold down on the screen, for the, and this goes in a circle, and try to hit the blocks. So I got this from a, a top five iOS of the month things from Kevin Kenson, but yeah. Because like, none of the apps require iOS, can do iOS 6, so yeah, this is one of the few apps. And see, and then you just try to get a bunch in a row. If you get a bunch in a row, then you get you can shoot multiple things, but... That's pretty much that. Okay, so I'm still going. And then I have Flappy 2048, which is basically Flappy Bird, but you try to get the numbers into um, a little bar thing. I think you can see it there. The picture is pretty self-explanatory. You're just trying to hit the screen and try to get it in there. I don't know. I thought it was really unique, so that's why I just got the app. 2048, you just combine numbers, basically. Um, that's kind of addicting for me, because it's like, I know it's a really basic app, but it's like the only apps really I can use on here. And then, um, let's see here. I just have a remote desk, desk tap, of course, with air keyboard, so I can use this as like a, a trackpad. And touchpad, um, just for like numbers and things, because this is kind of complicated with the keyboard. Browser for connecting to, um... My lap or my dad's laptop or whatever to use as like a remote thing to access it if like if I'm away from it but I still gotta see something or whatever. So yeah, this is just kind of a random section, I guess. Newsstand. Oh man, I really wish I could move this, but I can't because Apple won't let you put it in a folder. See? Look, no. Well let me go in there. So yeah, that's that's Apple's dumb decision. And then we have, look at this, Apple Craps. Yeah, all the Apple crappy apps I don't use. Like Game Center, Weather, Maps. Because, I mean, why would you take something to use Maps if you never have a Wi-Fi, you know? iTunes, because, I don't know, <laughs> I don't really want to pay money for songs that I can get for free. Um, Passbook, I mean, I never really buy anything, like tickets or anything. Uh, videos, never used stocks, I'm not really a stock person, so that's just all Apple craps. Whoa, face cam! Anyway, guys, this is the end of the video of what was on my iPod Touch 4G updated, and uh, I hope you liked it. Uh, I thought enough changed to do another video because I also didn't really have any ideas, but again, my office tour is coming. It's right over there, but I didn't want to spoil anything, so I went to the corner. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, get ideas for some apps for yourself, and make sure to like this video if you liked it, because again, if you liked it, then you liked it. And why would you lie? I mean, it's bad. Why would you do a bad thing if you can do a good thing and it's easy? So just hit the like button. Anyway, subscribe for more videos coming soon, like the Office Tour coming. I never really did one with my old desk because I mean, it was kind of cluttered and small, so, but this one, this one's, this one's good. So make sure to be getting that out you once uh, I get my new chair. Okay, I'll give you a hint. Okay, stuff's get, stuff's getting good. So. Hope you enjoyed it. Do all the good stuff below. And make sure to check out my gaming channel because I'm starting to do gaming videos. Not really like a lot because I'm trying to focus on this channel and grow it. But um, yeah, just trying to do more stuff on YouTube. So see you guys later. Peace.